Hello, I'm M.I.R. Antoinette. Today is day four of the Daniel's Fast, and I will be giving a brief nugget and prayer on today's focus, Godly Personal Priorities. Our focus scriptures are Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, Joshua chapter 24, verse 15, and Luke chapter 12, verse 34. Matthew 6, 33 reads, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Joshua chapter 24, verse 15, part A and C reads, And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Luke chapter 12, verse 34 reads, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. I believe that in these scriptures, we are reminded as believers that we must choose God and that we must choose God first in every area, situation, or decision in our lives. See, oftentimes we may find ourselves striving to make our lives more enjoyable by seeking the things of this world, the things that appease the flesh. These things are what motivates us to do what we do, say what we say, or even go where we go. For some, it may be how to get the next dollar. For others, how to gain more power or notoriety. Or even maybe making decisions that please others rather than pleasing God. Sadly, in seeking these things, the Father's will for our lives is oftentimes neglected. And we miss out on having a true relationship in Christ. I would like to encourage us on today to let's be about our father's business in advancing his kingdom over our own personal desires. This means we will make it our business each and every day to prioritize our focus and attention on seeking spiritual things. These things include seeking to grow in faith, showing mercy towards one another, Living a life of humility, meaning making yourself of little importance. And among other things, just simply doing what we know is right in the sight of God. As you spend time seeking God through reading, studying, hearing the word of God, praying, and fasting, God will speak to you according to your spiritual needs. Heeding to God's word will redirect your self-will desires. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this day that you have given us. Thank you for your grace and your mercy and your loving kindness. Father God, we glorify you and praise your name. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to come to earth to set an example for us to follow. Father God, we desire to honor you with our whole heart. Not part of our heart, but honor you with our whole self, God. We pray that you continue to lead us and guide us, even as we wake up each and every morning seeking your face, seeking how we may serve you, seeking how we may honor you. Father God, we love you. And it is our desire to do each and everything that we set forth to do, to do it in your will. We thank you for speaking unto us, giving us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Father God, we want to let you know that we trust you and that we will continue to trust you throughout each and every day. Father God, we pray and ask that you help us to present to you our time, talent, and treasure, including our finances, God. Let us to trust your will. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father God, we know that you will give us each and every day our daily bread. So we don't have to seek after things, after the things of this world. But Father God, we know that when we seek spiritual things, as you have asked us to seek your face, we know every need of ours will be met. So we glorify you on this day and we praise you. And we lift your name up in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day.